Good morning, Rebels. Well, after two years of riding, I'm embarrassed to say there's one thing I haven't done yet. Well, there's two. I haven't been on the interstate. And I haven't done any actual errands on my bike. I haven't ridden it to work. I haven't gone on any, you know, like, you know, getting your lashes done or getting your nails done or anything like that. So, um, taking take, take it out to a restaurant. Like, I haven't done that specifically yet. So, I decided, you know what? It's time. I have a glorious morning. I mean, look at that sunrise. It was so perfect. So I set my appointment up for 6.45 in the morning, early. But I wanted to make sure that I was gonna beat traffic. Um, it still makes me nervous. And so I decided, well, you know what? We'll just go early. She was available. So I took my route up and around town and just this really nice area to enjoy the morning air. And it was, oh, it was, the sun was warm and the air was crisp. It was like the perfect morning to ride. Honestly, it was so gorgeous out. I loved it. Um, this coming up here was probably my biggest issue. <laughs> this was the intersection I was most nervous about because I'm crossing over I-25. And there's a lot of traffic here, even at this early in the morning. Uh, so I had to sit here at the light and I had this really big, like 18 wheeler pulled up behind me and I'm going, please don't smush me. <laughs> please don't smush me. And the truck next to me. And I was just going, oh, this is terrifying. Please turn, please turn red, please turn green. Like I was really ready to go and I'm, I'm checking, okay, what gear am I in? Like I'm just running through all my little stuff and it's just, it's sad that I'm two years in and I'm still kind of doing this, but um, yeah, the traffic makes me nervous. So I was just like, okay, we're just gonna you know, I don't know, wait for it, wait for it. And this was the longest late ever, like seriously. So we're gonna fast forward right here. On the road again, ba -ba -ba -ba, on the road again. Anyway, I was super happy to finally get out of there. Um, merged into the next lane. And then I had what, I think two lights and I had to turn. So it wasn't too bad. And so, you know, this just, this is fairly normal riding for me now. But yeah, I was just enjoying, trying to enjoy the morning, trying to relax. Uh, very happy to be on my Rebel. Man, I love this bike. I love this bike so much. She is such a joy to ride. Um, just, it's it's such a such a different experience. I've had a couple of days now where I had to ride both the, the CF, CRF and the Rebel and within like an hour of each other, or not even, you know, get off one, jump on the other one, and then do the same ride back. And it is such a different experience. Obviously, they're built for two completely different things, right? And you can tell, like, it's amazing how different they feel. I love this bike. I trust this bike. Um, I feel like she was made for me, and uh, she's just my little companion. And it's, it's just a, a nice feeling. Whereas I get on this CRF, and, and I'm... We haven't, we haven't figured each other out yet. Like, I just don't feel like we really know each other yet. I'm hoping that class I'm taking this week will really help with that. And um, I have both bikes actually at the house right now, so they're kind of looking at each other. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> All right, but here we are, getting into my appointment. Yippee skippy. Such a cool thing. I was like, okay, there's no traffic around. I'm just gonna park her right in front. Like, and seriously, look how sexy this bike is. She is so, so hot. Oh my goodness. So about an hour later, I'm now headed home. I was 
was so incredibly proud of myself. My friend came out and she oohed and awed over the bike for a minute. It was really great. And uh, yeah, I was like, I'm just, I'm very proud of myself. It's about time I do this and I'm gonna try and make this more of a habit where I do this more often. Um, totally worth it. And yeah, just, you know, it's more experiences that I need. Oh yeah. So one thing I noticed while I was riding is I had a strap that was slapping me in the leg. And I'm like, where, what does that belong to? What is going on? I realized I wear a Helite jacket, so one of those airbag jackets, and I'd forgotten to plug myself into the tether. Oopsies. So this was me just pulling over real quick to fix that. <laughs> I've broken ribs before. I've had a collapsed lung. I've had broken I uh, broke pretty much everything on my right side honestly um, and I just don't really want to go through that again so I wear the helite jacket and just kind of as much gear as possible we could talk about that on another video perhaps but anyway so I got myself all up and going <laughs> better better everything's better I feel safer like and subscribe and hang on for the next video. I've got two more in the queue coming out soon. Talk to you later. Thanks for coming by.